Hello, this is TK68101, and I'm back again to read another story to you. Tonight we're going to read the story of The Phantom Menace, adapted by Courtney Carbone and illustrated by Heather Martinez. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the peaceful planet of Naboo is under a blockade from the Greedy Trade Federation. The Galactic Republic sends Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi to help. They are Jedi Knights, guardians of justice and masters of the Force, a power that connects all living things. But when Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan arrive, they are attacked by battle droids. The Jedi defend themselves with their lightsabers, but they are outnumbered and must flee the Trade Federation battleship. On Naboo, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan meet a funny creature named Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar takes them to the underwater city of the Gungans. The Gungan leader, Boss Nass, does not want to help Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan with their mission, but he gives them a submarine and allows Jar Jar to guide the Jedi to the Royal Palace of Naboo. On their way through the planet's core, they are attacked by giant sea creatures. After a narrow escape, the heroes arrive at the Royal Palace. Queen Amidala is being held hostage by the leader of the Trade Federation, Viceroy Gunray. The Jedi quickly free the Queen and her handmaidens. They race aboard the Queen's Royal Starship and blast off for Coruscant, the capital of the Republic, to get help. Oh no! Federation Vulture droids attack the Royal Starship. A team of astromech droids hurries to repair the ship's shields. A brave droid, R2-D2, saves the day. Across the galaxy, the true villain behind the Federation's plot is furious that Queen Amidala has escaped. Darth Sidious is a Sith Lord, an evil master of the dark side of the Force. Darth Sidious orders his apprentice, Darth Maul, to find the Queen at once. The Royal Starship's hyperdrive is damaged, so the heroes land on the desert planet Tatooine to make repairs. Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Queen Amidala's handmaiden, Padme, find a hyperdrive in a local junk shop, but they don't have money to pay Watto, the junk dealer. Padme meets Anakin Skywalker, a slave boy who works in the shop. Anakin can fix anything, and he is a skilled pod racer. A sandstorm blows in, so Anakin brings his new friends to his house. They meet his mother, Shmi, and a droid that Anakin is building. Hello. My name is C-3PO, the droid says. Qui-Gon senses that the Force is strong in the boy. He thinks Anakin could become a Jedi. Qui-Gon makes a bet with Watto. If Anakin wins the next pod race, Qui-Gon wins the hyperdrive and the boy's freedom. If he loses, Watto wins the Queen's starship. During the race, Anakin zips and zooms past the competition. The crowd goes wild when he crosses the finish line first. Soon, the Royal Starship is repaired. Anakin is sad to leave his mother, but excited to begin his Jedi training. Suddenly, Darth Maul launches a sneak attack. Qui-Gon fight, fights bravely, giving the heroes enough time to blast off for Coruscant. When they arrive, Queen Amidala asks the Republic Senate to help while Qui-Gon brings Anakin before the Jedi Council. He wants the boy to become a Jedi. Yoda, a powerful Jedi Master, worries that Anakin has fear in his heart, and fear can cause a Jedi to turn to the dark side. Clouded this boy's future is, Yoda says. The Republic refuses to help Queen Amidala, so the heroes return to Naboo to save her people. They ask the Gungans to form an alliance. Padme reveals that she is really Queen Amidala in disguise. Padme begs Boss Nass to help, and he agrees. They will all fight the Trade Federation together. Padme, Anakin, and the Jedi sneak into the palace. They release the Naboo pilots who blast off in starfighters and attack the Federation fleet in space. Suddenly, Darth Maul appears. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan face the villain as Padme and her guards fate race off to capture the, victor the Viceroy. Outside the palace, Jar Jar and the Gungans battle the Trade Federation army but the Gungans are outnumbered, and their shields are no match for thousands of battle droids. To stay safe, Anakin is hiding in an empty Naboo starfighter with R2-D2. All of a sudden, the starfighter takes off on autopilots, sending Anakin into the middle of a space battle. 
Anakin, using his amazing pod racing skills to fly into the droid control ship and blows it up. Kaboom! Without the control ship powering them, the battle droids all over Naboo shut down. In the palace, the Jedi fight Darth Maul together, but the Sith Lord is driven by the power of anger and hate. Darth Maul strikes Qui-Gon down with his double-sided lightsaber and knocks Obi-Wan into a deep pit. Just when it seems that Obi-Wan is defeated, the Jedi springs into action and destroys Darth Maul with one mighty blow. Obi-Wan runs to his master's side with his last breath Qui-Gon asks Obi-Wan to train Anakin as a Jedi. The Federation has been defeated. Padme, Boss Nass, and the people of Naboo celebrate their return to peace. Obi-Wan keeps his promise to Qui-Gon and vows to teach Anakin in the ways of the Force. Anakin's journey to become a Jedi has begun.